Prince Harry says he sees Princess Diana in Archie Harrison and Lilibet. Prince Harry told Stephen Colbert that his son, Archie, and daughter, Lily, inherited his famous red hair from Princess Diana's side of the family. Prince Harry passed on his signature red hair to children Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. The Duke of Sussex appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert Tuesday, promoting his memoir Spare on the day of its global release. Harry spoke to the host about the cathartic process of putting pen to paper, his military service in Afghanistan, the worldwide fascination with the royal family and what his late mother, Princess Diana, would make of it all today. Prince Harry also joked about how his two young children, whom he shares with his wife Meghan, inherited his iconic red hair. Towards the end of the segment, Colbert showed Harry and Meghan's 2021 Christmas card which featured their first public photo as a family of four. Here's another lovely family photo. Your daughter, Lilibet, your son, Archie, of course your wife, Megan. Your daughter Lilibet is named in her honor, Colbert said, referencing Harry's grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. Having children helps us remember those that we've lost. Do you see your mother or your grandparents in any of your children? Definitely my mum. The ginger gene is a strong one. Prince Harry joked as the studio audience laughed. Look at that. Both of them are redheads, the host said. The Spencer gene is very, very strong, Harry interjected, referencing his maternal side of the family. I actually really, genuinely thought at the beginning of my relationship, with Meghan, that should this go the distance. And we have kids that there's no way the ginger gene will stand up to my wife's genes, but I was wrong. Go gingers, he added. It's a little known fact that all three of Princess Diana's siblings Lady Jane Fellows, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Charles, 9th Earl Spencer have naturally red hair. Harry joked about his hair color when reflecting on the early days of his relationship with his wife. In the Netflix Deguser is Harry and Meghan, which debuted in December. I remember my family first meeting her and being incredibly impressed. Some of them didn't quite know what to do with themselves. Harry said after the pair it told the story of Meghan's first meeting with Queen Elizabeth. I think they were surprised. Maybe surprised that a ginger could land such a beautiful woman and such an intelligent woman. Prince Harry covers this week's exclusive issue, where he said that he sees himself today. As a husband and a father first and foremost as well as a veteran, environmentalist and mental health advocate. I know that I want to live my life in service of others and that I want to live by example for my kids. Harry tells. The Duke of Sussex addressed the topic in his book Spare. Prince Harry's memoir, Spare has become the fastest selling non-fiction book. With many people eager to read his bombshell revelations for themselves. Details about Meghan Markle's pregnancies have come to light in the autobiography. Including how they announced their first pregnancy at Princess Eugenie's wedding and also intimate details about the birth of their son Archie. At the time, there was a lot of press speculation and confusion about the royal baby's birth announcement. And the Duke of Sussex has finally set a record straight on the matter. Within two hours of our son being born we were back at Frogmore. With the help of a nondescript people carrier to get them out of the Portland hospital unnoticed. However, members of the press were then told that Meghan was then in labor, despite the little one having already arrived. The Duke remarked that this wasn't his choice but it was keeping people tuned to the show. It was then officially revealed that Archie was in fact welcomed into the world at 5.26am on the 6th of May 2019. Before the labor announcements were made and a few days later the couple revealed their son's name. Harry admits that the press were incensed as they pulled a fast one, with the birth announcement. Meghan also broke with tradition by not standing on the steps of the hospital, as Princess Kate did with her three children. But their Netflix accuser is reveals that this was because of the press call not being possible at Portland Hospital. And not because of the couple's preference. Harry and Meghan instead presented their adorable newborn to the media at a photo call at Windsor Castle. A nearby location to their Frogmore cottage home. The couple looked besotted with their bundle of joy as they smiled for the cameras and answered a few questions. Prince Harry's explosive Netflix deguser is followed his and Meghan's love story and shock move to the US. Including the time they spent at modest Nottingham Cottage and their move to Frogmore House. In the Duke of Sussex's memoir, Spare, 
He details the short time the couple lived at an unnamed property in Oxfordshire. Ahead of their move into Frogmore in Windsor, while their residence was being renovated. Harry explains that the couple were sadly forced to flee the home after to the press found out their location. In the book, he writes, a helicopter was hovering above the property, a pap hanging out of the door. Aiming telephoto lenses at every window, including our bedroom. Thus ended the dream of Oxfordshire. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.